I'm 36 years, I'm turning 37 year marker, but I'm also HIV positive. I was born HIV positive and, uh, and I've, I've lived all my life with HIV. I want to encourage you, please be negative. If you can't stay negative. Yeah, stay there, stay there. Okay, I have a negative. Eh? Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Koech on the move and this is Kenya Diaspora Media. Today, nime travel sana kutoka uko embakasi ni kakuja mbaka Dagoreti Center. Place mbali sana hapa kwa, ni kama ni mashambani eh? Eh, yeah, uko jumuisha wa Nairobi. Yes, <laughs> ah, nime travel masaka dha. Na mm. nime patana na, nime kuja, mission nilikuwa ni kutafuta my friend here anaitwa Bena Softy, right? Yes. Kule social media anajulikana kama Bena Softy. Kama we ni mtu unakuanga sana social media, lazima ukwe umemuana. Kama ujamuana, ndo leo umemuana na utasikia story yake. Ben, akuna very touching story yenye tunataka a share leo. So, Bena, yes. how are you doing? I'm doing good. Yes, so yeah. tell us your name, sir. Eh? Yeah. Najua, unaitua Ben, Bena Softy, pale yeah. kwenye social media. Yes, TikTok, uko TikTok, pia YouTube. Eh? Yeah. So tell me about your real names. Where do you come from? And naapa ni wapi kwenye tuko? So my, my real names are Bernard Mavalo, Kitela. I am from Kwale County, Kwale Koko Coast Province. Na uko njama, mali ni metoka. Nagini kwa sahi ni from Nairobi, the Great Center. Um, ambapo ugundu nikwana nafanya kazi tumekuja kutafuta eh oh, exactly. so ugundu naka ugunda beauty center na kwa mitandao naitua bena softy kwa tiktok sana sana facebook na youtube pia lakini pale kwa youtube pia niko ili account na kuanga nayo sana inaitua the softies family youtube channel the softies okay. family mm. yes. so leo tumefululiza yani nimekuja mi mwenyewe kutoka huko mbali ni kutafute we mwenyewe mm. sababu wewe uko na a very touching story a very in, inspiring story mm. you are a, let, let, let's say you are like a, a role model to certain group of people mm. eh, who we are going to talk about right now mm. so yes. about once to ambie your story so um, I'm, I'm, I'm 36 years, I'm turning 37 year marker, but I'm also HIV positive. I was born HIV positive and, uh, and I've, I've lived all my life with HIV. So that is the story that I always share with people now when I inspire now. Na I'm an orphan. I was, uh, my parents passed away uh, sana when I was very a little boy and when they passed away because of HIV related um, diseases I uh, was a children's home so I was taken to the children's home nyo nyeze kupata madawa hizo za ARVs na pia kuweza kupata masomu sababu my relatives awangeza kwa afford could we take care? So they took me to a children's home. So, uh, ukipelekwa a children's home, mm. ulikuwa unajua wazazi umewapoteza. Ulikuwa miaka ngapi? Ilikuwa around nine years ten hapo. Eh, wazazi wali pass mm. at the same time or? Ah, uh, wali, mwede mm. nika lipasi nikiwa seven, mwede nikiwa hapo nine years hapo. Okay. Yes. So, hivi ulijua lini ukona virusi vya ukimu? So when you mm. mean the level of your children's home, siku anajua mina ni the one that means you are madawa, like in siku anajua ni madawa zanini. Mm-hmm. Then after some time, after like the kid around twelve, thirteen years ago, that is when they came out and they disclosed to me that uh, I was HIV positive, and they told me the reason I was HIV positive is because it was transmitted from my parents, like. Nilizali watu nikiwa positive na hawakuweza kunikinga nisipadwe na hii maradhi kwa sababu hiyo wakati hakukuwa na hizo dawa za kama saa hii. Okay. Yes. Exactly. So vile uliambiwa hiyo story ulikuwa miaka ngapi? Around 12 years. Ago. Around 12 years. Mm. Uli receive aje hiyo information. Imagine shockingly uh-huh. I could not do vile because mm. nilikuwa nishaanza dawa. Mm-hmm. Alafu maana hiyo home nilikuwa naenda ni nakaa 
we were we were many who were taking ARVs. Okay. So na pia kulikuwa na my doctors, kulikuwa na my counselors. So I kwa very heavy to me, but I was like, I bora mimi peke yangu niko positive. Unaona kwa oh. familia. Because uh-huh. I had a brother, I had a sister. Oh, elder. No, you small are, ones, small ones. Kwa yeah. kwa kama mimi. Uh-huh. So I was like, but I couldn't bother sana because I think of the people when walikuwa walikuwa hapo. Okay. Yeah. Oh so you are uko mko wangapi kwenu? Tuko tuko tulikuwa wanne. Mhm. Mmoja the last born akakufa. Mhm. Alafu tukabaki watatu mimi, uh-huh. my sister and my brother. You are the first born. Yes, I'm the first born. All those others uh, wako positive pia. Yeah. Hapana. Wote yeah. wako negative. Wako negative au wengine. Oh so ule mwenye alipasi story na Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. So utuambie story about kwenye umeishi sasa ukiwa children song after kutoka sasa the other world mm. kwenye unapatana na watu unajitegemea ili kuaje yeah kuishi kwa children song ilikuwa rahisi because kulikuwa na watu mm-hmm. but venye nilitoka huko nje after nimemaliza my college nikakuja huko nje nikaanza kwa asol alafu nikapata job i remember my first stigma in the face kutokana na my first girlfriend mwenye nilikuwa na ye wenye okay. nilimu disclose ya my status nikamwambia ni for HIV positive alinitoroka akasema pao hawezi uh, awaruhusiwe na mama yao kudeti watu wenye wako positive unaona okay. and they also it took me so long before ni disclose here yeah. ni mwambie ni for HIV positive so i, I was doing some funny funny things nambaya mtu mzuri mzuri nambaya gifts ndio ile wakati nitakuja mm-hmm. kumdisclose ya yeah. ikuwe rahisi yeye kuni accept mm-hmm. naona kuwa nampenda so that is what happened yeah yeah so when you need to be so that you can be a positive mm-hmm. you are catchy we at the end that you can to me messages mingi na kuniambia mimi kwao au au msiwe kuwa mtu wako positive mama yake amemwambia sio ipeleka mtu wako na ukimwi kwao eh vitu kama hizo so hapo ndio nika realize we kumbe hii kitu si kitu rais hapa nje exactly yes. yeah. so uh if i may ask a very something a question like let's say a serious question mm. eh did you ha- have a like a <coughs> sexual intercourse with a car or no yeah. i never had yeah. for like three months because my fear was yeah hiyo mambo ya kudisclose but yeye yeah, mwenyewe yeah. ndiye alikuja akaanza kuniuliza how comes una ni dating mm-hmm. na hata uni kiss una ni hugging tu kunishika tu peke yake mm-hmm. au nifanyie mapenzi so huyo msema kaniambia like kwao eh, mama yao amewaambia like mtu hizi peleka mtu wako positive sijui nini nini we mm-hmm. mimi hapo ndio ma- siku ya kwanza ni face stigma lakini huyo msema atukufanyia mapenzi Mm-hmm. kwa sababu ni kwanga na ngojea so hiyo siku mm-hmm. ndio nikuja ni mudisclose ni yale ndio ni mbona wewe uni au ni hug au ni yani una ni hug is no intimacy hakuna so intimacy hakuna mm-hmm. kukiss nini mm-hmm. so ili bibi sasa ni muambie ukweli mm-hmm. so nikamwambia nikamdisclose nikamwambia mm-hmm. before tufanye anything twende tukapimwe kwanza nilimwambia kwanza twende tukapimwe mm-hmm. so ndio nilikuwa na jeti kenda kupimwa mm-hmm. nataka pia mimi kujua ako positive ama ayuko oh yeah lakini sasa onde akaanza kuniambia kwani uni trust nini but sasa mimi ikabidi tu nikaona ni kwa tu honest ni mwambie niko positive na hivyo ndivyo yenye iko so i told her but hapo ndio nilijua mm hapo ndio nilijua what is cool stick man yeah so kwa sababu ya zile messages alikutumia ni messages ni ni mbaya kabisa wewe acha na eh, from any other people when you met patana apana eh yeah. mm-hmm. that was my first eh uh, kupatana na mtu or just because people so, are wajui hali yeah, yako eh yeah. uh-huh. so after hapo nikasema kama mimi nimepitia hiyo watu huko nje wamepitia nini wenye wako positive mm-hmm. that that same Kenya walikuwa wanasema tuko around 700,000 wenye wako HIV positive mm-hmm. ah mimi nikaamua kushare my story kwa mianga wase hata kama mtu wako positive anaheshimu mm-hmm. maisha normal yes. anaweza oa mm-hmm. anaweza pata eh, watoto unaona na nikaanza kuongea public 
nikaanza kwenda oh, sasa before hata tuendelee story ya kuongea public ni kitu yenye nataka utuambie yeah. ulifikiria lini ukaamua kujitokeza sababu hiyo ni uamuzi yenye inahitaji nguvu kabisa kabisa yeah. so mimi afuye msana nimefanya hivyo <coughs> yenye nilifanya niende public mm-hmm. so nikasema eh kama mimi nafanywa hivyo na watu hapa nje alafu mimi unajua ni kwa motivational speaker so nilikuwa najua kuongea so nikasema ah moja mimi ni post Waje ni kwambie mara kwanza nilipost ni Facebook. Nikaandika story mrefu about my life. Mimi niliandika after two days NTV NTV wakanipigia simu. Kulikuwa na show ile ile crossover. Yes, I know. Ya DJ Mo. Yes. Wakalikuwa nafanya hiyo wakati na Grace and Karapa. Wakanipigia simu wakaniambia eh Benas of the Zipa na jua na foto na watu wakubwa hivyo. So like when I saw the tunataka kushare story yako and that is why I went mm-hmm. and I came public kwa national tv na nikasema about my status mm-hmm. na about the story yangu kaanda okay yes and people were encouraging you to continue I telling the story I was like yeah. the people around me they were very shocked nimeamua yeah. to make that yeah. decision yeah. Yeah. but for the sake of so many thousand of people yes, maybe yes. It is. kabisa mm. so aha uh-huh. <coughs> let's go to another story eh? mm-hmm. after sasa ushaongea hivyo mm. how did your life change like life yako ili change namna gani after you <laughs> tell the story i think i became more confident mm-hmm. nilikuwa confident eh feel inisha na nikakuwa sasa hivyo nikaamua hivyo mm-hmm. for the last like nine years nimekuwa nikiongea about my status yeah. publicly yeah. for so many uh, social media and also so mainstream media za Kenya na nimekuwa tu nikishare story yangu na kusema um, this is how i am and there are a lot of people who said here wako kama mimi na wanaishi maisha yao cuz nilikuwa nafanya kazi nimesoma nikafika wakati mpaka nikakuja nikaoa nikapata wife nikapata mtoto hii ni mm. yako negative before so, that na hapo ndo nataka tukuje sasa eh mm-hmm. now after telling your story mm. that time hiyo dem kwanza that msichana alikuacha mm. ulitafuta girlfriend mwingine after hapo eh hey, nilikuja nikatafuta girlfriend mwingine mm-hmm. na nikapata mm-hmm. na nikaoa okay so when we nilioa nikakaa na yeye I think we were married for four years. Was she positive or negative? I will not want to say about her oh. because for her mm-hmm. I have no uh, it is the same as a positive because I don't need to have permission to come here publicly. Okay, oh, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. she knew about she your status. She knew I was positive okay. Okay. and we got a, a girl a, a, child a child who the child is HIV negative. Mm. na kwa sawa kabisa despite the father being positive mm-hmm. say she is 7 years grade 2 oh, wow. yes mm-hmm. so wako wapi so wewe sasa wewe na yeye tukakuja mm-hmm. tuka tukaachana after to be married for 4 years mm-hmm. so to the because of not because of our my, my status, status yeah. it is because of family issues na vitu kama hizo na tu life life ilikuwa tu hard hiyo wakati nini mm. but tukaachana but that doesn't mean that i don't uh, i don't see my daughter na muonanga na msupport hata alikuwa hapa hii mid time alikuwa tu hapa oh. so she she comes she mm. we talk every day tunaongea kila siku so hapo mm. after hapo ilikuwa around 2019 huko mm-hmm. so yeah then i started again being public about the status yeah, oh and, when you were with that woman were you public already yes i was about the, yes. and she was okay with yeah, that she was but we were not mentioning her. oh exactly yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. so what about right now as you speak are you married yes i am married to when i'm to that yeah i'm married i'm uh, to a uh, to a, a, a lady who is also positive like me we are neither same because oh. pia ya ko public eh and it's a lot of abana she you can search her on tiktok mostly and kwanga pale na kwa social media by and you also have a family youtube channel yeah, right yeah it is the same as the softies 
the softest family yeah kindly check Apo check out that channel yeah, yeah. Apo ndo tunakoanga weke link hapa yeah yeah this is the link. not even the link the name of the yeah. channel and in the description nitaweka link yeah. they have a very nice stories yeah. over there yeah so there we do we tell our stories mm-hmm. tunafanya pranks vitu mingi tu oh vitu mingi yeah. it's not about telling stories it's, as well eh? it's not about it so it's a, like a, a, it's family. a family thing okay yeah exactly so yeah. tell tell me now because people i know they really want to know mm-hmm. how did you meet with the woman you are dating right now or now umesema pia yeah, she is positive yeah muli meet aje so we met uh, i was in 2022 i was very famous in tiktok eh? yeah and uh, a lot of people knew me when you mnanga tiktok mnanijua bena softy na that time i was very public about my status and also her i fortunately na epia alikuwa anajulikana juu alikuwa na share story that it me so we met in tiktok in tiktok i saw her in tiktok she saw me in tiktok then one day i just decided you know i was dating a, a certain girl who was hiv negative eh? and this girl i can i can't break so you story alikuwa kwa tiktok Mm-hmm. So watu walikuwa na ongelea sana. Oh. So in in in, mm-hmm. in just a, in that process ni hakuja ni watu wakaanza kuniambia kuna msichana fulani anashangaa story yake kama wewe alafu nikamuona nikatupa tu shot yangu pale nikamwambia hivi hivi na hivi tuka meet mm-hmm. and the rest is history we are here Yeah. We are married. And you are living uh, together. Yeah, you go around lakini yeah. we are living together. Do you have a child together? No we don't have a child together uh-huh. but uh, she she has a child but she says we need to to see what is going on oh exactly we need to move up and it's Italia na mimi niko na mwende so we in a jungle co co parenting in a jungle e family and the blended family a blended family yes. <laughs> okay yeah. so i think i'll also look for her some day so yeah. that we can talk because mm. she's not around right now mm. yes so uh There is this now this uh, question I know many people are asking themselves mm. about the girlfriends you told us you had eh? mm. how did the stories of intimacy or kufanya mapenzi na mtu wewe uko positive na yeye ako negative mlikuwa mnafanya like uh, mapenzi what happens of course yes and mm. what happens is this Mm-hmm. kama uko eti be positive mm-hmm. na unakunywa dawa zako vizuri the air with medicine you are supposed to take them back up where suppressed your viral uh, your virus is undetectable mm-hmm. na ikuwa suppressed mm-hmm. ikuwa suppressed when you are undetectable you cannot transmit when asabanga undetectable is equals to untransmittable hiyo 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 kikugulu mtu kikugulu you is equals to you taona mm-hmm. so for me i don't miss my medicine i am undetectable even if if today i sleep with somebody who is HIV negative sita muambukiza unaona mtu mwenye anaweza ambukiza mtu ni mwenye mwenye mnalala na yeye na wewe mtu akunywe dawa vizuri number two, the others mwenye atasema but there is another method ya kutumia dawa inaitwa prep prep ni dawa ambayo unatumia ku ni dawa ya prep ni dawa ambayo unatumia kufanya nini ku make sure that the huyu mtu mwenye kwa HIV negative ndio anakunywa prep ndio asipatwe na, na HIV na kuna nyingine inaitwa pep ambayo mwenye kwa HIV negative pia anakunywa so there is the four different the um, the four different methods that could be prevent from negative as part of now na HIV number one, ni kutumia of course a condom hiyo watu wanajua number two, ni kuhakikisha huyu mtu ako negative huyu mtu ako positive <coughs> sorry huyu mtu ako positive anakunywa dawa zake mm-hmm. na the virus is undetectable number three, mm-hmm. ni kutumia prep prep nayo inatumiwa pia na huyu mtu ako negative anakunywa hiyo dawa ndio mm-hmm. kila kufanya mapenzi na huyu mtu ako positive asiambukizwe na ya mwisho mm-hmm. inaitwa pep ambayo pep nayo wewe unakunywa mm-hmm. after labda umelala na mtu na unjui mtu hiyo hali yake iko aje hauko sio huyu mtu mwenye mwenye umelala na yeye iko aje so this person mm-hmm. when they take that medicine uh, anaikunywa for 28 days ya kuji prevent asipate na HIV okay so those are the medicines yani vile ulikuwa na jikinga ndo 
isipatikane yes. lakini yes. most importantly mtu mwenye ushawahi ku date unamwambia una, lazima umwambie lazima umwambie okay yeah. so yeah. now uh, how did in yani li happen aje about your wife violet right mm. ulikuwa unasema mlionana alikuwa na share story yake mm. online wewe una share pia mm. sasa nani alirusha mistari of course when we do when i do this story in some cases yeah. women eh women yeah. too <laughs> yeah. so mm. for this case ni mimi nilimwambia nilikuwa namuona sana so hiyo wakati kwa na nilikuwa napitia hat break hata yeye alikuwa amejua because nilikuwa very famous kwa TikTok mm. pia so yeye akafanya nini aka 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 accept to to meet nikamwambia can we meet mm. akaitikia so when to meet other sequence time Mimi ndio kama I want to be with you. I want to try a, a relationship with you. Mm-hmm. And I think also how she was like she wanted somebody. Mm-hmm. So we, we the near and right now it's one one year and six months. One and a half year. And you are happy yeah. to marry her. Yeah, we did it for one year by the way guys. Mm-hmm. We did it for one year then mm-hmm. then in December last year. Mm-hmm. Then the ndio sasa tuka move together okay mm. that's great and live imekuaje mkiwa pamoja tu obvious live iko poa iko fit challenges tu za kawaida kwa relationship yeah. lakini yeah. when one of the things i love about this is that yeah. tuna support kila mmoja kwa kunya dawa zake vizuri oh, exactly. yeah yeah, yeah. najua tuna support yanaga sana like Mm. the advantage ni hiyo kwa tuna supportiana sana we are there for each other mm-hmm. yeah, huyu akiwa down una step in huyu akiwa down una step in yes yeah, yeah. yeah. okay exactly <coughs> so uh now mm. tell me about the ulisoma eh? mm. we went to school right mm. so unafanya kazi gani sai so i was i uh, for the last 12 years mm. nilifanya kazi mm. i was a data oh. officer Mm-hmm. but the uh, ile program nilikuwa nafanyia mm-hmm. uh, funding ilisha mm-hmm. so sai current ngo eh ngo nilikuwa nafanyia mm-hmm. kampuni ngo ngo mm-hmm. nilikuwa na support watu wenye ngo hiv positive mm-hmm. na so kazi ilisha last month mm-hmm. so right now i'm jobless but mostly niko kwa youtube sasa sasa hivi nimeenda youtube mm-hmm. you the softies the softies family hapo oh. ndio niko tukifanya content ikifikiria what to do oh, actually oh. kazi yangu ilisha last week yeah. oh just recently yeah, yeah? last week for the last 12 years mm-hmm. only to end last week yes yes oh mm-hmm. <laughs> so ulisomea nini maybe there is someone anakuwa chuko mm-hmm. na labda anaweza ataka kukupea mm-hmm. kazi maybe yako na open nilisomea information technology mm-hmm. eh uh, IT ndio nilisomea sana Oh. but to clarify say you are more interested in our content no na oh, great content na to come as i just want to go full blown comedian mm-hmm. yeah. in terms of telling my stories yeah. telling how i live kuna watu wengi wanadua say when you're positive hapa india kama tunaishi maisha normal so we want to show people that we are living Uh, a normal life, life just like any other person, any other person yes. eh? so long as you are taking your medication yes. well, everything is okay yes okay what goals do you have in life so right now my my goal is to to make sure that i i i see myself somewhere economically ama financially somewhere unajua kila mtu anafanga na goal ya kutaka kuwa mahali fulani so i want to concentrate more of creating myself to be a better person yeah. and also financially working so hard mm-hmm. not working really necessarily hard but working smart to yes, grow myself and pia nataka kuingia kwa hii social media world of content creation mm-hmm. that is now my 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 next uh, goal that I want to achieve yeah. to inspire okay. people yeah yes so about this motivation story mm-hmm. that you normally tell online on mm-hmm. your tiktok and mm-hmm. now youtube eh? mm-hmm. do you have an a registered initiative on, or an organization that you used to preach the story of stigma and everything no mm-hmm. i don't have since i you and a registered organization uh-huh. but i'm also thinking of uh, having a call center uh-huh. a call center for people living with hiv uh-huh. because most of them 
they do, they don't know where to go they don't know where to seek counseling oh. or keep their challenges sometimes you have a mental health mental breakdown mm-hmm. so it's something up uh, <coughs> me and my partner we have been thinking yeah. that it requires a lot of resources to be answer mm-hmm. but we, are, we want to have a call center where we have a, a, a free toll number mm-hmm. in a, Mtumu ya kopale nje anishi yeah. na mbibisi vya ukimu and yeah. anapigia simu yeah. Ama mwenye akopale na akot at risk of getting HIV And then atupigia simu na tumgaidi what to do But in the meantime we just share our stories uh, online. online And also uh, even a website can work eh? yeah. you, Even you create a website where people can go and search for information about mm. HIV issues mm. and everything right? yeah. Yes, and then you put your numbers where mm. people can chat to you directly mm. or call you. Yeah, mm. exactly. So that that's where that's what we are we are now yeah, currently working on. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Now, uh, what about now uh, as a family, you and your wife, mm-hmm. you share the same goals. Yes. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Most of our of our goals are the same. Mm-hmm. I don't think we are going to I I go the same mm-hmm. but we share the same I wish we would part up yeah but sure. uh, but uh, we share the same goals but we shall look for actually you yeah. guys eh, next time we are coming with uh, her wife's story yes yes she has a very touching story uh, mm. some different story and also the same story we have yes yeah so kindly share with us your social media uh, platform mm. you know handles from TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and all those places where you are. So, kwa Facebook, na jita Benasofti, kwa Instagram, kwa Twitter, na kwa... Yeah, the, the three. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, na jita Benasofti. Mm-hmm. Then kwa YouTube, na jita The Softies Family. The Softies Family. Mm-hmm. Na jua link itaye kwa opportunity. Please make sure you subscribe. For my partner, Najita Violet Mkabanda, kwa Facebook, kwa Twitter, na kwa Instagram. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, tuna spend pale kwa TikTok. Mm-hmm. Kwa TikTok, tuna jita Benasofti mimi, na ya Najita Violet Mkabanda. Okay. Yes. So, as we end this video, mm-hmm. uh, I wanted to ask you this. Uh, mm-hmm. I want you to talk to the people who are mm-hmm. watching here. Mm-hmm. First of all, the people who mm. are not living with HIV or mm. well, the people who are negative mm. number two and the people who are living with HIV to the people who are living with who are HIV negative I want to encourage you please be negative if you can't stay be, negative yeah stay there stay there okay I have a negative eh? mm-hmm. and just know the four ways of preventing yourself or square the HIV the first one the kukua uh, una condom Number two, prep. Number three, pep. And number four, when you are going to engage yourself with somebody who is positive, intimacy, make sure you know his viral load. Is it undetectable? Is it suppressed? Then now, there is where you prevent yourself. For those who are HIV positive, the secret is to take your medicine. Siri ni kukunye dawa yako vizuri, kukunye dawa yako vizuri, iyo ndo siri ya kuhichi na virusi ya kukimu. Okay, and those people who are living with HIV, do you, you know, do you um, advise them to come out like you and share their stories? I, if you have the courage, then do it. If you don't have, please don't. Because stigma is real, the discrimination yeah. in Kombaka Sai 2024, the stigma and the discrimination. Okay. Yes. So, when you talk about Nguvu and as I share his story, but what, what are the benefits then you will after to share your story after to come out as compared to the person when you had come out? I think it's just being courageous, I love for a copy kit. I think it is the same being courageous mm-hmm. and even fear. Now, could you accept you? You become free and you, and you become you love yourself more. Uh-huh. Yes, exactly. When I just say, I mean, the cost of your dad. What 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 what
on the flip side you you are advising yourself yes yes or you are the one benefiting True. Okay. sometimes you might be yeah. telling somebody something na kumbe ni wewe unajiambia ni wewe unajiambia because you have to push it because mm-hmm. there is a, that's something in akwambia if i'm telling these people to do this mm-hmm. and i'm not doing the same then how was that now so yeah, it's exactly. pushing you to do it yeah. for the sake of people who are you are who are who they see you yes. as a role model or a mentor exactly exactly mm-hmm. right. so nena ya mwisho tukimalizia thank you kenya diaspora media exactly. for visiting me yes. and uh, just um, um, hearing my story and uh, allowing me to share it in your platform mm-hmm. to the whole world exactly i hope it inspires somebody yeah. and if you have any question you can contact me Yes, actually, actually, they have a very a fast growing YouTube channel. You started, you know, December. It was on December, and it has eight thousand subscribers. They have very inspiring stories. They share yeah. everything about yeah. the life that they go through. So, if you want to check out, mm. you want to check them out, you can go into their uh, YouTube channel. The Softies family. Exactly. So, if you have any questions, or you have a word of encouragement, or you have anything that comes to your mind while you are listening to this story, mm. kindly make use of the comment section. Say something in the comment section. Send. Here, Bena will be able to exactly. see exactly. Yeah. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching this story. My name is Koech on the Move, and on behalf of Kenya Diaspora Media, bye bye. See you in the next video.